Welcome to a quick demo of the NCP Gateway and Registry application. This is an open source project currently still very much under active development, but I wanted to make this video to give a quick preview. Now, the Anthropic Model Context Protocol has taken the world by storm. Everybody is building MCP servers for their APIs, especially enterprises are building MCP servers for their internal and external APIs. Now, a key challenge for enterprises in this situation is that they want their AI developers to have a central point of access to a curated list of NCP servers and a catalog of such servers. So the idea being that the AI developers can go to a particular uh, registry and they can see all the servers that are available to them and all the tools that these servers provide and then have a central way of accessing these servers. That is where the gateway and registry application comes into picture. The architecture for the MCP gateway is something like this. We use a Nginx reverse proxy to route requests from different AI agents to different MCP servers, whether over SSC or streamable HTTP. Uh, this reverse proxy uh, uses the path variable inside the URL to say, hey, this uh, particular request goes to MCP server one, this goes to two, uh, three, four, so on and so forth. Um, these MCP servers can be running locally on the um, gateway uh, slash registry machine, or they could be running remote from the MCP gateway itself on an EKS slash EC2 cluster, or they could also be running on an Amazon API gateway and Lambda combination in a serverless fashion. So no matter where these individual MCP servers are running, the MCP gateway, as long as it has connectivity to these MCP servers, can provide, can act as a central point of access for the different AI agents that want to leverage these MCP servers. Uh, this GitHub repository provides the rest of the details. Uh, with that, let's jump into a quick demo. So here is my VS code. Now this uh, MCP server and MCP gateway and server application is available as a Docker container. So I'm just quickly going to run this Docker container. I have it built already. All the instructions are in the readme file. Now, as this uh, application starts up, uh, the gateway application also comes packaged with three different MCP uh, servers just to provide an example, and we will see them in action. Uh, so my Nginx um, reverse proxy has started, which means that we can now access the gateway and registry. Let's see that. Uh, so here I have my MCP gateway.ddns.net on port 7860 where the registry is running. That page is open. This is a domain that I have registered. You can access this on localhost or on a domain that you may register yourself. So let's log into this. So as I log in, I'm able to see the three MCP servers that were packaged with the gateway and more servers can of course be added. So a quick uh, view of the registry. So it's able to tell me that all these three servers are healthy. It does a health check. So it last health check was done 36 seconds ago. I can do another one. So it says check just now. Now this server has one tool. So I can click on this and see a description of the tool. Um, this one has two tools, so on and so forth. And some other metadata like this was in Python, MIT zero and so on and so forth. So if I am an AI developer, I can come to this MCP uh, registry and say, hey, I wanted to have a server which uh, gives me the current time, for example. So then I'll be able to access uh, access this uh, server. Now, a key server that I wanted to show a demo of is the uh, MCP Gateway Tool Server itself. So this server, the MCP server, uh, the Gateway Tool Server is uh, actually an MCP server for the registry itself. So the idea being when I was developing the MCP registry, so the registry exposes itself uh, via a bunch of APIs, like a health check API, like a list tools API, like a list different servers API, and also a registered new server uh, API. So I was uh, interacting with it through a Python application, through a curl command, and then I said, hey, wait a minute, we're talking about MCP. Why am I not building an MCP server for the registry itself? So that's what uh, exactly we did. And this is the MCP server that provides that functionality. So if I click on this, it provides me, hey, this is an API for toggle service, or this is a tool uh, for registering a new service. And we would now be able to use this MCP server in any uh, MCP host and be able to interact with this registry in natural language. 
So let's uh, see that in action, and that would also then be a demo of how different MCP servers can be accessed uh, through the MCP gateway. Now to do that, uh, let's switch to cursor. So I have my cursor uh, open over here. Now adding an MCP server um, at the MCP gateway uh, into cursor is really easy. So I just add uh, this information over here where this is the URL, and this is the name of a MCP server that I want to access. In this case, it is mcpgateway.net. Uh, suppose I wanted to access another MCP server, which is, let's say, also on this gateway, but it was the current time MCP server. So I'll, I would then add another entry, uh, you know, just copy paste this here and, uh, you know, just say current time and so on and so forth. So um, not this one. Yeah. So I would be able to add more MCP servers such as this. And now if I go here, uh, let's just fix this config file. So I'll just remove this for now. So if I go here now, so this is a valid mcp.json file and I can add more MCP servers here. But now I see this MCP gateway server that I have is uh, available here and I can just refresh it and I see all the uh, you know tools that this servers provide uh, are available over here. So now I can uh, interact with uh, my MCP server or actually I can interact with my registry. Uh, let's start a new chat over here. I can interact with my registry through a MCP server that was created for the registry itself. So it's kind of like a meta uh, uh, you know, thing, an MCP server to talk to another MCP registry. So let's say um, I can ask it a question, what all MCP servers do I have access to? So if I ask it this question, so it should be able to figure out that, hey, I have this tool called get server details. So I'd say yes. And it should be able to tell me about the fin info and the um, you know MCP gateway tool and the uh, MCP gateway server and the current time server. So it's able to provide me all this description. I can ask it. Um, um, let's say I want to register a new MCP server with my registry. So I can say, hey, I want to register a new MCP server with my MCP registry. Just an example and demonstrate. So I say that, so it should be able to figure out that there is a register um, service API, a register service tool that I can call. So it did that. So I can say run tool and let you can see. So it created like this tool called the weather information service uh, with the slash weather path and, uh, you know, running on local host which means uh, I should be now, and then it calls the get server tools to make sure that this new uh, server, uh, MCP server has been registered. So it's able to see that, um, that I see uh, that I have this new MCP server registered. And now if I go to my MCP uh, registry, I'm able to see this new weather service uh, information tool. So there are no other tools available uh, in this weather information server. But the idea is that I am able to interact with this registry uh, through my MCP gateway uh, using a using an MCP host such as cursor. And I can then you know ask it to say, hey, um, hey give me a listing of all the tools available to me. So then it should be able to look at all the servers that are registered with the MCP gateway and give me a uh, description, give me a listing of all the tools that I have access to. So the idea being that all these tools are then accessible through a single uh, MCP gateway. And then, um, you know, I have a very powerful functionality to interact with multiple MCP servers and the multiple tools that these uh, MCP servers provide. So I have this uh, listing here now. So that was a quick uh, demo of um, of the MCP Gateway and Registry uh, open source project. So please do take a look at it and uh, add a GitHub star here if you find this useful. Um, there is also a Medium post associated with it, which I am going to publish. Uh, there is a full API spec associated with the MCP Registry, which is also uh, available here. There are a whole bunch of technical details that I did not cover over here, but they are all available on this um, on this repository. Here is a medium post that I'm sort of uh, you know going to publish shortly. It goes into some more details, so do uh, do check that out. And again, uh, this is the 
MCP Gateway Open Source Project, MCP Gateway slash Registry Open Source Project. Um, thank you so much for watching.